All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today I'm going to be looking at about 72 hours uh, with the Sony Xperia Pro-I. Now, this device, I've been using it to record content on the channel because I wanted to see how it performed. Overall, you guys like how it performs. Uh, the last three videos I've done of other things have been with this device. Shooting in manual mode is actually really cool. Uh, the, the video pro mode, just everything about it, it's super easy to understand if you already use a Sony camera. I'm shooting with my Sony mirrorless camera today to shoot footage of this device with the Sigma lens like I normally would do. Now, there's some things I wanna cover in this, this 72 hours that are, these are early on uh, numbers and stats that I'm coming across. So, sometimes I talk about network in videos because that's important to a lot of people and it's really important to me because I do a lot of phone calls. Well, unfortunately, with this device, and again, this device did come out in 2021. So I'm, I'm wondering if that's just what it is. But um, Wi-Fi signal on this is definitely not that good. Um, when I go to certain, and I, you know I have a very nice Wi-Fi 6E blanket over my entire house, one gig up, one gig down. Well, this device struggles a little bit in certain areas of the house over Wi-Fi. And then when I turn off Wi-Fi, the cellular signal, it, it, some people were asking, does this get 5G? Yes, it, it is on 5G. It's on T-Mobile's 5G, as you can see there. So it does get 5G. It's just that the signal strength, uh, it's just not the best. So the antennas in here basically definitely need some improvement. And I know some of you guys are saying, Jay, I got the Mark 1, uh, the, um, the later versions of this device. Xperia 1 Mark 4 is the latest one, I believe. And I'm curious to see how those people's antennas are and their signal for Wi-Fi and things like that. It's not horrible. It's noticeably weaker than other devices that I have. Uh, and that's just, I think I credit it to how old this device is. It's over a year old. It's still running the 888, and I'll talk about that in a minute too. But the antennas in here for me haven't been the best, but it's definitely doable. I just wish the Wi-Fi could get a stronger signal and then my cellular service could do better. Again, it does work on 5G. A lot of you guys had uh, questions about if it worked on 5G. I am on 5G for T-Mobile. That is the only network I've tested it on so far, but it does in fact work well on T-Mobile. It's just that it's, it's more spotty than other phones that I use when I take it out and about. And that's just pretty much what it is. So I want to talk about, um, some of you guys had questions about the performance. Well, the Snapdragon 888, this is a stock Android device. So the Snapdragon 888, uh, it's a solid device, it, it, a solid processor. It was solid back then, and it's, it's solid still now. Uh, you know, it's just, it is what it is. The, the processor looks good uh, when you're scrolling through things. As you can see how it is over um, T-Mobile's 5G, it's actually doing pretty good. Like it's starting, ooh, it's so clean. Um, it's actually starting up the animations and the stuff like that. It's, you saw how I scrolled through Twitter. The, the processor is not having a problem, none whatsoever. So if you're worried about performance, yeah, you're, you're good to go. You shouldn't, you shouldn't worry too much about performance even though it's a other versions of this device out. Don't sweat it, I, this, oh, that's clean, oof. Uh, yeah, but I just think the processor is, is fast enough for me. It'll be fast enough for most people. This phone has enough RAM and the processor coupled together that it's going to do well. So uh, a lot of you guys had questions about, um, you know, the processor heating. So it's not so much that this processor is heating. The 888s back in the day when I was using them, I didn't really have too many problems with, with heating. It was It depends on the device. The thermals of this phone is where you might run into some heating. And there's people already pointing out to me, oh, this phone is plagued with this. There's plenty of people who have this phone and I, I, I checked them out. They don't complain much about the thermals in here. I've seen a lot of people who have this device and they're not really complaining about the device overheating when recording for a long time. When in fact, I've shot some very long videos with this. And since I'm in a controlled environment, like I'm not in direct sunlight or anything, um, this device has not overheated on me at all. The thermals in this device uh, and the cooling system might not be the best. I mean, I guess this this did come out in 2021. And so our, our world has advanced a little bit since then. Uh, but overall, I have not had any problems with this device. I've actually shot 30 minute videos with this thing uh, and it didn't cut off. There was no overheating. It wasn't really hot to the touch at all. It just recorded the content and that's that. Yeah, no problems. 
So another area where I think this device is strong, but it's, it has a weak spot. So this device comes with a 30 watt charger. Now, it is not the fastest charging device. I'm getting the full 30 watts because I use a smart charger and I test this charger, it just does not charge fast. That's kind of a, a downside uh, because it only has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, but it does, I found that it just doesn't charge as fast for some reason, it just does not charge fast. And I was surprised by that. It, it really takes a little bit of time to charge. Um, and so I find myself, uh, when, I, when I charge a device, I keep it powered off while I'm charging it to get it charged the fastest. But when I'm using something like a OnePlus or something like that, it doesn't matter. I can keep that phone turned on. It'll be at 100%. The OnePlus 11 goes to 100% in like 27 minutes. Uh, so <laughs> this device, while beautiful, it definitely, and again, please, folks, please consider this device came out in 2021 and we've advanced so much with all the processors and the technology and so has Sony, but this is an, uh, a device that's probably going to be another generation of this coming like really soon. You've heard the rumors, I've heard the rumors, and I would love to get my hands on the newer version of this, which will probably have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and see how well it does with more RAM and a bigger battery, and you know, the upgrades that they might do. But other than that, folks, the battery life is actually really, really solid. I can easily make it through a day, and if you want to count screen on time, have at least six hours of screen on time and go well over 24 hours. Uh, and it, it's just, it's been good, but it just charges a little slower than I would like. Yeah, it really does. Now, I've talked about the network. I've talked about the battery. I've talked about the performance. Um, I've kind of hinted on the cameras already. The cameras are just phenomenal, man. I mean, you guys saw the footage. Um, that I did, let me open up the, uh, some of the videos that I have here. I don't wanna show you videos that aren't out yet, uh, but I wanna show you some of the footage uh, that I've recorded with this this device, uh, because I've recorded uh, some, I've recorded some. Uh, let me turn on Wi-Fi so I get a good steady stream here when I try to show you this. Uh, but um, I've recorded a lot of content with this. Like I recorded this video right here um, I'll show you this. I recorded this video when I was talking about the new Samsung devices. Uh, I recorded it with this, this phone, no, no, nothing. Just put it on the tripod and sat it up in the dining area. I believe I was at, and that's it. And you guys absolutely love the content. You, you let me know what is up with this ad over here. Look at that. That is weird. I've never seen that before. I like guess it's, it's got an ad stuck over there. Phones always troll you when you get on video. That has never happened before. Some some of you are gonna say, oh, that's the that's the phone. This must be because of the aspect ratio and YouTube. Yeah, but I've actually watched YouTube content in full before. So let's go into another video. I don't know what's up with that. Let's see if this happens. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Some, some reason it's putting an ad over here. It's cutting off the screen, but you know, nonetheless, uh, the footage on here is this video is done with this phone, really solid. I actually say in the video that it's done with the phone. Uh, this video was done directly. This is the cameras on the device. It's really, really solid. So the, the, I'm getting trolled right now for by the YouTube people. Like <laughs> It doesn't want me to show off how beautiful the screen is. Uh, let me actually, you know what? I know what I can do. I can go into those videos. Here we go. There we go. I don't know why it's showing up like that on the YouTube app. Today, Samsung just announced two devices. Also like that you now, can have the vibration motor when you're watching content. Properties. It's called uh, dynamic vibration. So when things vibrate, it feels like it's going to vibrate something on what the real video. It vibrates the phone. But nonetheless, speakers are decent. They're, they're front firing speakers here. There's a speaker there and a speaker there. It's, it's decent. Not the loudest speakers, but again, remember this is a 2021 device, so just consider that uh, for when you start to critique the speakers on here. Uh, but they're not very loud, uh, and they need work. But I bet you the people who have the newer versions of this device genuinely look at the detail on this camera. That's this camera right here, that one-inch sensor. Uh, but um, 
it is this is definitely a beautiful set of cameras again speakers on the weaker side however the 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 camera recording on it is so phenomenal and the screen brightness the screen brightness is it's pretty good you can see um it's a really nice beautiful display it is 4k uh, and it's just beautiful that that's another area i was going to go into uh just looking at it here it's great man it is phenomenal. Sam. There, no one's doing 4K displays, and this just isn't a 4K display. This is 120 hertz. Remember, just keep thinking of 2021, and we're in 2023 as we're recording this video. So, all I can tell you is that this is this is a beautiful, beautiful setup right here, and that is definitely a beautiful display. Uh, but the speakers definitely need some improvement. So again, if they do in fact release a newer version of this, I have got to get my hands on it to compare it to this to see what the actual improvements are. So uh, 72 hours with this thing, um, I haven't had any problems. And those are the things that I've noticed. You guys have shot me questions like, does it overheat? No, I'm not having any heating, pro heating problems. How's the battery life? Battery life is phenomenal. However, it does take a little bit longer to charge. I'll notice when comparing it to other devices. Cameras off the charts. Everything about this is great. And the other downside was the network. The network and, and the Wi-Fi signals just not as strong as I'd like them to be um, in certain areas of the house. You guys know I have uh, that uh, Wi-Fi 6E setup, that one I paid $1,500 for or $1,600. It's, I got a nice blanket of Wi-Fi in my entire house. And other devices get almost a full 900. This one, yeah, not so much. It's, it's maybe getting half of that. And then also the signal for T-Mobile is just not good in, in, in here like others. So, you know, it's a, it's a thing. Let me let me go into a speed test real quick before I get out of here and see if I can get one open for you just to kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Let's see here. Here we go. This is over Wi-Fi. Now, mind you, I'm sitting right next to one of the satellites. Now, let me see if I can give you some kind of sample. And again, remember, this is a 2021 device. So just keep that in mind when you start to um, want to trash it a lot. Just remember that. And I'll also um, show you T-Mobile's network. So it got 453. Um, oh, I got an update on my Samsung. Oh, shoot, it's starting over. Got a system update on my S22. <laughs> so let's use the iPhone here. I got the iPhone um, 13 Pro Max here. This is an older device that came out that's not new. So let me see if I have the speed test app on here. Uh, okay, hold on. I'll get it loaded up. I'll also go to uh, try to, uh, let, me, let me just go ahead and do it the same as this uh, here, speed test from Okla. And we'll go ahead and start it up. And you can see exactly uh, see how the iPhone does sitting right next to it. <laughs> Again, I'm getting trolled. I'm, I'm literally getting the exact same speed, actually lower on the iPhone. I tell you folks, I tell you no lies, this doesn't normally happen. This iPhone normally gets like 7, 800, uh, even though it doesn't have Wi-Fi 6C. I guess that's how it is when you're trying to demo something. <laughs> it, it really, you get, you get trolled like that. Let me turn off Wi-Fi. And then I'm gonna go ahead and retest uh, with T-Mobile's network. And so you can see what it is. Now normally on T-Mobile's network, I'm getting, well, I'm getting between 250 and 400 inside of my house. But again, the signal strength in here is just not the best. Um, but nonetheless, it's good. Oh, no. Here we go again. That's what it is. That's why I'm getting trolled like that. I rebuke you, Satan, once again. Always trying to troll me. So nonetheless, folks, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, yes, I just said that. Um, I'm going to get out of here, folks. And um, overall, man, this device is absolutely great. I love the matte black. The hardware is great. But I will say this. Not having a SIM tray with the injection tool is weird. Like you have to put the, the chances of this breaking is a lot. This is super flimsy. Now, I know a lot of people probably don't take their SIM cards out a lot, but that is super flimsy. And um, it's just not the best option for a SIM tray. This wobbly area right here. And then just not having the ability to, um, 
put your SIM card in with like the SIM ejection tool. That's freaking weird. Uh, that they they're still doing that. But I wanted to go ahead and take the SIM tray SIM card out so you can see. But folks, overall, this is a great device. But I come from a neutral standpoint. And again, I appreciate Sony sending this out to me because they're going to be looking for some feedback. And I'm going to tell them, uh, I know this device came in 2021, but overall, this is a solid package for $1,000 when comparing it to other flagships that cost $1,000 in the current world. This probably has better cameras, obviously, better battery life than a lot of devices that are in that price range that are considered flagships. Um, you know, it's just going to be a stock Android experience. It's going to be a much solid experience, but those areas of improvement, like better, stronger network signal, you know, faster charging, you know, things like that. That's important. So it's your man, Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed 72 hours with uh, such a beautiful freaking device. It's incredible. Really enjoying it. I will follow up more. Hopefully I answer some of your questions. So I covered battery. I covered performance. I covered screen cameras. I didn't really cover too much hardware or whatever, but network this is a, a great 72 hours now this device came out in 2021 and launched for like 1800 bucks again i'll leave a link down below where you can get it for a thousand bucks directly from sony so it's your man i don't get any kickbacks or anything like that but i just want to give you the lowest price on the device currently because it was a thousand bucks at best buy but they've tweaked the price back up to 1800 so i'm hoping that a new version of this is coming because I am really interested in it. I want to see what they do for improvements. I know the Sony One Mark IV is out. That's one of their latest ones. And then the Xperia 5 is out. Um, I just know that they can do better than this. And this is already phenomenal. So that says a lot about Sony. Yes, I'm a little biased to Sony because I use their cameras. But this is a phone with a camera on it or a camera that can make phone calls, I guess I should say. <laughs> so. Um, this is hot. Now, if you would have bought this back in 2021, you'd have a killer setup in comparison to others who, um, and some people have had this phone that long. I've seen people start to comment, but I like this folks. I like it a lot. And let's see how it improves over time. Um, this particular device, let's see if it actually comes through and, and, and software updates to, cause it's on Android 13. It went from 11 to 12 to 13 on day one that I of having it. So now we're about three days in, going on four days, I think, or whatever. And it is not slowing down. It's still fast. Everything works. No glitches, no problems. Just need to improve on those things that I pointed out in this video. But I will bring you more content being recorded with this device. And I will let you know that I'm recording with this device because that's what I've been doing for all the videos that I've been done with this device. Uh, and I'll bring you more updates on it. We still got to do our outside vlog when we walk in, when I work out or riding the bike. We got to do all of that. So stay locked. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.